good morning. So as promised, this is going to be a, a little video of changing this car into one with better audio. Starting this morning. So what we have here now to begin with is a factory Audi sound system. It's not the Bose one. So it has a factory amp only to power the sub here. I think it's a six inch thing in this. Uh, two channel speaker system in the front. Head unit in the glove box. Uh, two speakers in the back. And two tweeters here in the B column. And the front tweeters are actually located here in the dash. There. Wah. Uh, yeah. Head unit located here in glove box. So this is all gonna get changed. So the doors has been removed. Factory speaker will also get removed. Uh, as seen here in the back doors and the first thing is always to sample the whole door with different sounding layers so that's one layer here a couple of different layers from other boxes such as uh, soft material and uh, non-water absorbent material that goes in the door as a second layer. So from STP, this one. And then installing uh, premium plug and play speakers for Audis from these Italian guys stack. Front doors. Whoop. These eight inch monsters and one and a half inch tweeters. They are direct fit components to this Audi. So whoa. this baby is gonna come right here. And it uses the same connection. So this literally designed to fit this vehicle. Same for the back, slightly smaller version, six inch, six and a half inch. Again, comes right here. Okay, so that's the speaker installed. So this is the last door that haven't been finished, hasn't been finished. So soundproofing the outer skin with the first material layer, on top of which coming this second material, just two layers sitting on each other, like this. So this is all gonna get closed off and then the jaw trims come in on top of that also fully soundproof like this now the question for million dollars oh maybe not that much but a question nevertheless how do we connect to audi sound system without cutting the wires now this is the plug that normally goes to the factory head unit so we um, just unplug this connector and put it into our harness which looks exactly the same so these things just clip together like this 
Oh, maybe I will be to do it after all. One handedly. Okay. Clip. So now we have all the wires coming into our amplifier on this end where the amplification happens and sound tuning happens and whatnot, whatever you want to do. And we send the signals back through the original harness to the speakers again. This way, we don't need to touch any of the existing wires and we'll, we'll get to sound, upgrade and tune everything in this car. So that's the method that uh, has been designed. The, this process is developed in Germany and for German cars and then for all other cars as well. So the only question is now where to locate the amplifier. This harness comes in various lengths, 1 meter, 2 meter, 5 meter. So in our case we'll be probably installing the DSPM here in the middle console because we found a little gap there which the amplifier fits in and that makes it very very nice and clean installation and the way to tune the amp is not by screwdrivers or just turning the knobs anymore it's just digital through a computer so we just lead out a USB plug to connect to the PC that gives us the full control of the amp even though the amp is fully hidden and we don't need to access it anymore okay systems installed now it. It's a ported box, 10 inch sub, 300 watts RMS, just firing sideways this way, nice and free, sitting on feet all around and it's on the same line with the uh, floor level, so when it close off, closes off, exactly the right match, actually, quite literally, it's the right match. For this car. Okay, so the whole system has been upgraded now. It comes with this remote control. So you have two remotes here, one's for volume, which you would need to use it's just on full as the car has its own. The other one is base level output, and it comes with this little extra option that can be uh, programmed. It has two different uh, tuning profiles, this car. When I press this button, it changed the program to the other one, takes, I don't know, 8 seconds to load the next profile, and that has been tuned in for the family.